Howdy y'all, it's Kate from The Lifestyle Lady. How are you? How are you doing? Hope your week's going well. I hope your week's going better than mine. I have been in, well, I've been sick the last week with a chest infection. I'm getting a wee bit better thanks to Mucinex, but uh, please bear with me. I certainly don't look <coughs> or feel like I would normally, I don't sound like I'd normally feel, but um, I need to get this video up because today's the last day really I can do it. So I'm a bit, maybe looking a bit more glowy, I've added a bit more blush and a brighter lipstick to try and pep myself up to get going. So today's video is November favourites. All different types of things that I've loved dur during the month of November, not just beauty related. So let's crack on. The first thing in my Aladdin's Cave box is this, tea. Now if you've been following the blog for a while, you'll know that uh, it's sacrilege, but I'm a British person who doesn't drink tea. But I have been converted. A friend of mine in my old location introduced me to this probably in June. But I kind of during the summer hadn't been drinking hot tea. And really in the last week where I have been feeling so grotty, this with a little bit of honey has helped me through. This and Mucinex has helped me through. So this is the Yogi Sweet Tangerine Positive Energy Tea. You can buy it in all grocery stores. They cover a huge chasm of uh, different types and genres of tea. This one's for positive energy. I know they do them for depression. I know that they do them for uh, menopause. They do them for prenatal. They do them for detox. They do them for sleep well. Loads and loads. So I have urge you to check out um, them in your grocery aisle and if sweet tangerine's not your bag there's a variety of different flavours too. Um, Mr L loves the detox tea and he loves the sleepy bedtime tea it's got lavender and goodness knows what else in it but he likes those so I urge you to give them a look. Next on my list is a book you know I've been trying to read more it's not so easy when you're a mum of a toddler and uh, particularly this time of year you're so busy with I don't know, paraphernalia and all this nonsense, but trying to read. And this book has been really useful and has kicked my butt and, and challenged me and made me think about things so differently. And it's the book uh, called Grace Not Perfection by Emily Lay. Again, if you followed me for a long time, you'll know I'm a big fan of Emily Lay. I love her brand. I've used her Simplify Planners for a long, long time. Um, this book basically teaches you to not keep striking, striving for perfection, that it's okay sometimes to enjoy the calamities and catastrophes of life. It's okay sometimes to be in chaos. Life doesn't always need to be perfect, which for a personality like mine is reassuring and encouraging. And I need to take, and I've taken a lot from the book. I haven't quite finished, but I've, I've read the vast majority of it during November. So I've wanted to plug through and I wanted to, uh, urge you to give this a read. If you know somebody who might enjoy this, it's a great stocking filler. I know they sell it in Target, I know they sell it in all bookstores. It's a really good book and I'm enjoying it and I'm learning from it. It's not just a story. Uh, next on my list um, is slippers. Finally, it seems to be cooling down here in Texas and I say finally. It's, I mean, if you come up too close, you'd see that I'm glowing. But it's time for slippers. Now, let me preface. I'm not a sexy slipper wearer. I like comfort. I like to feel cozy and snuggly and warm. I don't need to look like a Victoria's Secret model in my slippers. And I found these. These are like loafers, loafer uh, slippers. Here's the other one. And as you can see, they've been worn. And I got these from Target. Now, I believe I paid 20 bucks for them, possibly 24 bucks 99. They're comfortable, I love them. Uh, I wish I'd pick them up in another colour. They're just, I just, I, I urge for them. I, when I come through the door, I wish I could wear them all day. In fact, I do wear them into the garden and out and about when little Elle's playing outside, but I have drawn the line to wearing them at the grocery store. I just wish I could. So if you're at your local Target, I urge you to give these a go and have a look. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about some candles that I've been burning for the month of November. Obviously now we're going into the advent period, we'll be talking more about Christmas smells and all that. Now let me talk about fall and autumn and all those things. I don't like hugely 
the kind of candy smelling marshmallow type smells they're not for me they're just not something I gravitate towards they make me feel a bit nauseous no judgment on those who like them smell is a very particular and personal thing but I have I have enjoyed this season and particularly through November these two candles from bed now I'm going to call it Bath and Body Works because I don't know why I call it Bed Bath and Body Works. It's called Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works. I don't know what's wrong with me that I cannot seem to get the name of the store right. The amount of money and time I spend in there, you would think I could get it right. Well, so basically throughout autumn I have burnt two candles exclusively. And shock horror, one's called Autumn and the other's called Leaves. And to me, they sum up the season. They, they smell like leaves, falling trees. And to me, what autumnal fall smells are. S sort of cosy, lovely smell. So I urge you again, if you're, in a, if, if you're near a Bath Body Works, they're probably on sale at the moment because they're out of season now. Grab yourself some for next year. They're a goer. I thought I would add this to my November favourites. This is my Christmas planner. Now I won't go I won't go into the pages because I've got information in there and private data. This is how I keep organized for the month of December, for Christmas, for the, and in fact I use it before, I use it for Thanksgiving. I use it for budgeting, I use it for present planning, I use it for party invites, I use it for scheduling, I use it for everything. Gifts uh, I'm just going through it, looking through, stocking stuff for ideas, I inventory all my Christmas decorations, everything. The baking ideas, if I've seen things on Pinterest, if I have recipes, it all goes in here. This is my life for the month of December. It really helps me, especially because I have family, a transatlantic, and, you know, trying to buy and send things, get things organised as early as possible for me is really important. And I found this really great. I I ordered this these infills from Etsy. Uh, I can list them below. Uh, I think I paid like five bucks for them. And honestly, it's a great way. I also print out all my online shopping and everything that I've, all my receipts and, and all my delivery notes all go in here. So this travels with me and goes with me, you know, so that I have everything I need on hand. Because if you're doing a lot of online shopping, you need to check things off. Or maybe you're, maybe you don't, maybe you're not like me. I like, I forget what I've got coming in. I want to make sure that everything I've bought arrived and everything's as it should be. This helps me. So if like me, you're kind of busy and you know, lots going on, that's a great way. Next, I wanted to talk about things that I've been watching. There's one thing I want to talk about that I've been watching this month that I have loved and that is The Crown on Netflix. And no, it's not just because I'm a Brit and because I love everything royal. If you've not seen it, I urge you, Go and make friends with someone with a Netflix subscription. Claire Foy, Matt Smith, Jared Harris, the whole cast, phenomenal. Go and see it. I think they spent over $100 million on it. It looks like it. The casting, the acting, the set design, the costumes, everything is first class. It's a gorgeous story about Elizabeth and Philip. And you really realize as a British person, how much our queen has served to her country, how much duty she has, what she's forsaked in duty to run, her, to run our country and be our monarch. And also Philip, what he has done to be a dutiful husband. And it's a beautiful love story about two people and the whole thing's phenomenal. So. Okay, next on my list is an app, not an app, it's a email or email subscription I've joined called The Skim, S-K-I-M-M. -M. You get an email Monday to Friday and it's a basically a very small summary of the major news stories. If like me, you're always in a rush. I, you know, I do want to follow the news. I feel like the news has been dominated polit with political information in the last, God, it feels like forever. I feel like CNN is all they've talked about exclusively well for the last two years is purely election. I mean, you, would, you wouldn't know anything else is going on in the world, but rant over. Um, the skim's great. It's a great way of just flitting through, having a look at some of them. Some of the some of them are major stories. Some of them are sort of un, sort of quieter stories, but interesting ones. It's really easy to sign up. It's it's a great thing to have in your inbox in the morning. I urge you to have a look at that. So I'm going to end on the two beauty favourites I've really enjoyed this month. 
The first is Born This Way Concealer. Again, I've been hunting for a really good concealer for a long time. This is pretty good. Uh, it doesn't show lineage. The only thing I would say is you've got to keep your under eyes pretty well hydrated. But this is a pretty good, pretty good one. And I shall, you'll probably see it in my empty. I'm ending this video with my last item, which is a Lancome or Lancome, depending on how you pronounce it. It is a eyelash primer. For somebody who's got a lot of hair, my eyelashes are very disappointing, so I'm trying to make more of them rather than using fakes. And an eyelash primer does help. And the long one is pretty good. I'm trying to go through a range of them and try them. I probably would definitely, I probably would repurchase this. I've used it, you know, pretty much every day. I feel like Lancome, Lancome makeup has improved so much. I think that's got a lot to do with Lisa Eldridge as the creative director. It's it, it's it's a really, I mean, it's an ex, always has been an excellent brand, but I feel like it's really got infinitely better. So that's my November favorites. Hope I haven't rushed too fast. Sorry, I'm not quite on par as usual. If you've enjoyed today's video, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. I'm not sure it'll be around here somewhere. Please do subscribe. Tell your friends. Hope you're all keeping well. Enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you for watching. Ta-ta for now.